Remember dentine whenever you should brush and you can't. You'll like it, dentine. Ladies and gentlemen, greet an old friend of mine. Uh, <laughs> oh, when he comes to the neighborhood, watch out. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Freddie Cannon. <laughs> man and bring him back alive. here waiting for you you know you you scared the daylights out of like 17 people there you happened? you made a mad dash from here the poor cameraman was over here 19 people ran for cover oh, you're a nice people though they uh, they understand yeah, but they you understand our predicament here <laughs> yeah but every uh, you should have seen 17 people over here running for cover the cameraman saying help help he's coming my way you like working uh, with an audience i love it that's great how long have you been singing oh this is going on our sixth year now you have a, a sound on records that's reminiscent of uh, Bo Diddley and uh, Chuck Berry, the sound that the Beatles are doing these days. What do you call that kind of music? Does uh, it have a name? I don't believe so. I guess it's just uh, the basic uh, popular music of today. Happy uh, music? If you want to call it that, it's happy. It is happy. I enjoy doing it. Uh, Who wrote Odie Cologne? That's a wild name well, for it. the same fellas that wrote Abigail Beecher wrote Odie Cologne. Uh, and they also wrote a record called Buzz Buzz a Diddlet which goes back uh, 1961. If you ever have the pleasure of seeing this man in person, he does about a 25-minute version of Buzz Buzz the oh, Diddle. Yeah, I've seen that. this. We do that with Abigail now, anyways. What, Abigail again and again? Uh, again and again. We just uh, keep it going, you know. What about albums? When, uh, what's this new one you're working on? Well, we have uh, an album out now called Abigail Beecher with all hit records of uh, the top ten of today. Mm -hmm. Uh, with I Want to Hold Your Hand and uh, She Loves You. And I'm doing all the voices on these things, too. You do all the tracks? Right. There's only one of me and there's four of them. See, I'm doing... Uh... Have you met the Beatles? Uh, a long time ago, I met them in England, but they hadn't come or made it here yet. I must tell you, he's a kind of a modest fellow. He came back, and this was the first man who said to me, someday you'll want to wish that you had a group called the Beatles on the show. And I said, yeah, sure, you know, English artists. <laughs> Don't kid me. They were... Uh, that's how well I know what's going on, but that was a long time ago. What are, when are you going to move to California? Well, I hope to in about uh, four weeks. I really? I just can't wait to get out here. Hey! 
Well, he has seen the light. <laughs> well, if you like it very much, oh, Charlie I love Owen, a lot of people, uh, if they all can come out here and be... You know what? If, if you add yourself, this will bring our grand total of having uh, gotten about 38 people to move here in the last you two months. You counted them back, back uh, stage. I think there's more than that, isn't there? I don't know, but we'll go back to the autograph table and count. All right, let's count. Thanks, Thanks Dick. Thanks nice to have you here. Freddie Cannon, ladies and gentlemen. Join you at the autograph table. We'll be back in just a minute.